progress report on the WR250R fuel pump repair. So to recap, this fitting which goes in here and has a tube barb, that uh, piece of tube goes from here up to the inlet to the fuel pump, is supposed to have a piece of uh, roughly 3 16 nylon tubing coming off there where the quick detach for the fuel line goes. It's broken off. So this part comes out if you pry these little uh, barbs out one at a time. It wasn't too hard to get out actually. And I was my original plan was just to plug this hole and I noticed this lovely flat spot here and when I discovered the um, slime screw-in type valve core valve stems I realized I could make a bulkhead fitting out of those. So um, this is a brass T. I would have used an elbow but I couldn't find one so I got a T and I capped one end and uh, bored out the hole a little bit, filed down the barbs because I didn't want to take any more material off the uh, tire valve than I had to, soldered it up, soldered easily with lots of flux and cleaning things and plan was I would put the uh, the new fitting in here in this nice flat spot, get a Viton washer or O-ring or something and then run the fuel line over to here. This is when I discovered that um, especially the rigid nylon fuel line is not that easy to bend and I made a bit of an experiment and quickly decided that that was just not going to work. Maybe I could do something, one idea would be to solder in a piece of uh, smaller copper nickel line and then just have a short joiner, eh, maybe. But then I realized that this could actually go in here and the original o-ring would seal between this face of the tire valve and the, the flat ledge in the, in the bore there. I had to uh, grind down the outer diameter a little bit to fit in and uh, there we go. So short piece of tubing, hopefully I can, at least I don't have to bend it, it's still going to be a pain to get that rigid nylon line on, but I think it's doable. Uh, but in the meanwhile, I had already, of course, drilled the hole for the new piece, which was kind of a shame. I wish I'd realized this would work before I did that, but no big deal. Um, this is another slime tire valve with a just a brass screw in there and soldered it up. For some reason the solder cooled all lumpy, but hopefully it seals anyway. Um, this is a... the o-ring is off a Mazda oil filter. I think it's probably Viton or something realist, resistant to hydrocarbons. Should work. And anyway, I can put that in there. Washer and nut, etc. I think I can use the original o-ring in here to seal this one. And uh, it's looking promising.